Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash firstpawmedia. Understanding neural mechanisms both in humans and across species gives us insights into both how our brains evolved over time, said one of the study's authors. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska, this is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. I'm your host, Michelle Forto. I'm also the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works, where we help humans and their dogs have better relationships. If you know me by now, you know I have been a professional dog trainer for a long time. I have seen just about everything and I will freely tell my clients all the time that they are teaching their dogs how to count just by the way that they reinforce commands. Let me give you an example. Say that you command your dog to sit. You then repeat that command three or four times, neglecting to correct the dog or worse. You give a treat even though the dog never did the command. Over time, your dog learns, hey, This guy isn't going to make me do anything until he tells me four times. So your canine buddy just stands there staring at you until you get to four. (laughs) Yep, that's your dog learning to count. But did you know that a new study is out that shows that dogs might not know what walk, W-A-L-K, spells, but they are learning to talk. And soon, they might be your math tutor. In a study titled Canine Sense of Quantity, published in Biology Letters earlier this month by researchers from Atlanta's Emory University, found that a dog's brain processes numbers in a similar way to the human mind. The four-legged animals use a specific portion of their brains to compute basic numerical quantities, much like the region where humans have number-responsive neural patterns, according to the study. Now that we have a better understanding of how a dog's mind works, it certainly makes a lot more sense to say your command, reinforce it, and then praise the dog for doing the command rather than teaching him to count to four before performing the command. If you liked this story, please stick around until after this short break and we will share another one that I'm sure you will love. We're living in uncertain times. If there is one thing we can be thankful for, that is the recent pet adoption boom. Shelters are being cleared out, and that means you may not know much about your new best friend. Alaska Dog Works virtual and on-site classes are the best way for you to build a lasting bond and learn about your pup, new or old. From setting up a proper routine to learning the commands and much more, Alaska Dog Works provides you with the resources to develop your dog into one of the best. Right now, Alaska Dog Works has an exclusive offer just for our listeners. Go to alaskadogworks.com now and use promo code DOGWORKS and save 20% off your training program at the time of your booking. Visit alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS to save 20% today. That's alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS at the time of booking. Here's a headline for you. Dogs can pick up on their owner's stress levels and feel anxious too. We all know the power of therapy and service dogs. Training these dogs is one of the most rewarding parts of my career. Over the years, I have seen dogs touch humans' lives in ways that are unimaginable. But did you know that dogs do this naturally and most don't require any training at all? This is hard work for the dogs, though. High stress levels don't always affect us, but our dogs as well. 
In a new study released by Nature Scientific Reports last week, researchers in Sweden compared the long-term stress hormone levels between 58 dogs, a mix of Shetland sheepdogs and border collies, and their female owners. Researchers looked at the corresponding levels of cortisol found in the hair of the dogs and their owners, making measurements in both the winter and the summer. Additionally, owners were asked to fill out surveys about their own personality traits and also answered questions about their dog's behavior. The results from the study suggested that dogs mirror the stress levels of their owners. The human personality traits neuroticism, consciousness, and openness significantly affected dog HCC or hair cortisol concentrations, the study noted adding that the results did not show that physical activity had a significant role on the dog's stress levels. The study also found that a stronger correlation was found among humans who compete with their dogs in disciplines such as agility and obedience. When it comes to competing dogs, it could actually be that they spend more time together and that this training could increase this emotional closeness, Lena Roth, an author of the study, told NPR. Although this news could make some owners concerned about how their own behavior might be hurting their pets, Roth cautions owners not to worry. I don't think you should be anxious that if you're stressed, you might harm your dog, the researcher told NPR, advising that instead owners should think of their dog as being a social support for you and you are a social support for the dog. Roth went on to tell ABC News that the strong bond between owners and their pooches could actually help lead to lower stress levels. For humans with high scores of neuroticism, the dog may serve as an important source of social support, which might then lead to lower cortisol, she shared, noting that additional research still needs to be conducted. So what do you guys think? Does your dog know how to count? What about stress relieving dogs and the impact on our canine buddies? Let us know in the comments section or on our social channels. Just search Dog Works Radio. For more training tips and advice, please check out alaskadogworks.com. And one last thing, did you know that the single best thing you can do for our show is to tell your family and friends how you listen? Who knows, maybe they will become a rabid listener just like you. I'm Michelle Forto for DogWorks Radio. See you next time. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.